Hello travelers, Boardman21 here, and today it is that time again for us to prepare for another patch. Now while we don't know exactly how everything will feel and exactly what all the changes in the patch notes will do, we have a pretty good feeling. So let's go ahead and rate our top five builds, which will be for the arena for patch 8.3. Now I could be wrong on some of these. Something may have changed that I didn't see in the patch notes or maybe missed when I read through them, or perhaps something wasn't even in the patch notes that will take effect and we just didn't, you know, connect the dots or see it in there. However, I believe these five have survived and these are five very high pushing builds now that shouldn't really be affected by what we read. Now, this is not to say that other builds won't pop up or be stronger than these five by the time we get to the end of 8.3 there are many new skills and skill reworks that could end up being very very strong i have a lot of faith that a lot of sentinel builds could outdo the most recent 800 wave push by lizard on the shield throw build so i could definitely see some other builds popping up however these ones are ones that have been proven and tested and should prevail in 8.3 so let's get into it Coming in at number 5, we have the Earthquake Werebear. Now while we knew that this was going to get nerfed, we were told it was going to get nerfed, it doesn't look like they've killed the interaction, and from looking at the patch notes, there's only a couple of things that seem to be changing. One. Earthquake, when you take the three initial hits that adds a huge mana cost, will be changing to instead consume mana for the second and third additional hit, which means if you're in Werebear and use it, I assume that it's going to consume some of your mana. So you could still use the Werebear as it is, just don't take that node, which does mean that you'll do less damage, but there are other ways to build it and it was already doing so much damage, it could still be very good. The second thing is that charge will no longer have a very short cooldown. The cooldown reduction that you can get inside of the skill tree is being reduced which means that being able to get it down to a one and a half to two second cooldown will no longer be possible i assume probably around between three and four seconds is where it will sit at which means you won't be able to use it as often to do damage as much but you'll still be able to use the same interaction now that's what i got out of the patch notes and if this is the case it means you will lose some damage you won't be able to attack as often However, it's still going to be a very powerful, very powerful build. The only other thing that slightly changes with it is that they also got rid of all the hybrid leech effects, which means you won't be able to leech as much if you had that on gear, but there were ways to build it inside of the passive tree. So with that, I don't think it's been nerfed enough to actually remove it from the top five builds. It is going down a lot from the top spot that it had. It moved all the way from rank one down to rank five, in my opinion, but only time will tell how much further down it will go or if it can make its way back up. Coming in at number four, we have the Shadow Daggers Blade Dancer. Now, if you've played McFluffin's version of this, you know what we're talking about. It still hits relatively hard. In patch 8.2, Amarithi was still able to push it over 800 waves in the arena, so it will still be very, very strong. I recommend that you give it a try if you haven't tried it already. It has reduced its damage over the last couple of patches. Shadow Daggers, the plunge effect itself, will be losing a little bit of damage, but that was literally the only change coming to it in patch 8.3, which means it should still be very, very viable for pushing in the arena and for speed running echoes extremely quickly, as you can see in McFluffin's build, especially with Shift. Now, the Smoke Weavers also are having their cooldown reduction nerfed a little bit, but overall, you should be able to just fly through echoes and go really far in the arena with this build, but again, only time will tell. Coming in at number 3, we have Foe's Nova Boy, which once again, time everlasting, it seems to just get to keep going forward. I think it's where they kind of expect the end game balance to be, because at this point, it just keeps surviving. Now, while it does a ton of damage, they did nerf Lightning Blast a little bit. They did nerf the Lightning Idols that increase your damage a little bit, but Elemental Nova did not see any changes, and it looks like Stun Formula itself did not see any changes, nor did Stun or the shock and stun combination which means that this build should still be very very powerful and should still push between 400 and 600 waves easily in patch 8.3 if you haven't tried this one i definitely recommend that you give this one a go Coming in at number two, we have the Bow Mage Marksman, which was created by Lizard IRL, and this one is an absolute beast, and it doesn't seem to really be getting the nerf at all in 8.3. They reduce the chance to proc icicles by 2% on average, which is just nothing. It will reduce it a little bit, but overall, it's going to be 
just as powerful as it was. Now the other thing that they did is the bow itself will now give the icicles freeze rate, which means that before you didn't have a chance to freeze with the icicles, they now have a 200 base freeze rate. So unless something else changed, this skill is going to become really powerful. Not only is it going to do great damage, get tons of hits, and have great AoE going really far, still going two screens in length, but it will now have a chance to freeze really well. One of the highest base freeze rates of any ice skill in the game so overall i think this one is still going to push between 400 and 600 waves in the arena and i expect it to do great things and it is a very fun marksman build to play one of the only ones that i will play for the marksman so if you haven't given this one a try i definitely recommend it as well coming in at the number one spot is lizard irl's shield throw build now while it probably will see a reduction in damage just a little bit due to the block chance node that increases your damage but while shield throws out you're actually not supposed to be able to block that is going to be fixed the downside will be you'll still do the same amount of damage or should however your block chance won't be as high while the shield is out which is almost at all times so you might not be as tanky as you were in this patch however the build itself is very very powerful and over tanky already not to mention that on top of that there are going to be other ways to get additional dr in patch 8.3 i definitely see this as thing as one of the top builds in the game now other builds like i said may come to rise to the top especially with some of those new skills or some sort of new interaction on the sentinel but if you already have a shield throw and you're looking to push high right off the bat, maybe be one of the first ones high up in the ladder on the arena, shield throw is not a bad one in order to get there. It will push you pretty far in patch 8.3. Alright, there will be links to all of these builds made by the people who made them in the description below. As always, stay safe travelers, and I wish you the best RNG luck you can have in the patch release tomorrow. Have a good day.